And it goes a little yeah. something like Hi guys, I sadly was not able to record because my surroundings were a lot as you going to see my family surrounding me, so, and sometimes the things we say, <laughs> this is not voice worthy at all, but I started off with a face mask, you guys know me, I like to do my skincare, I love to make sure my face is clean also so I did wash before doing this the face mask I used was rose water infused and I got it from Sally's Beauty Supply I'm pretty sure you can order it online also and I highly recommend it I've been using it a lot a lot a lot a lot and my skin has not filled me since <laughs> okay next whipping in a name <laughs> when it's time bring out your cat I don't care bring it out play with your cat <laughs> my cat's name is Swore for most of you who don't know and then take off that mess do not let it whisk it on your face <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna prime the face, you know, to cleanse those pores and make sure that your face is primed for that foundation so it's as flat as your lace wigs. I hope, you know, like you want it to be flat. Um, the primer I'm using is also rose infused, and I think I actually got it from Target, so I'll make sure to post paste a picture or insert the link down below for it. <laughs> Just a small D's mess joke. The necklace I'm wearing is from my friend who killed Kyle World on Instagram. You can find them at that at and I'll also post the link down below. This necklace is also from Luke of Color World, and I just really wanted to show it off because I really love her necklaces and I'm appreciative. A little dancing, you know. And now we're going on to our eyebrows. I tend to shape mine just how I feel that day. And today I was feeling like, yeah, I guess she could have an arch. She could have one if I want her to. My family is just talking to me. It just keeps making me laugh. You, you guys know me. I'm easily lovable. Like, I laugh way too much. Laugh to the point where my cheeks fall. I'm tired of it. Um, the brow palette I was using in this video is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I will also link it in my description box. I really, really do love it. it. It really suits me very, very easily. And I do recommend this for people. I'm so sorry. It takes me forever to arch my eyebrows. Like the, I'm so used to them being really thin, so when I'm filling them out, it's like, oh, new hair's grown right here. Where, what do I do with this? So after the eyebrows, we're gonna go in with the concealer, and I'm using Fit Me Maybelline Concealer Shade 30, I think, and it's Honey. And I'll also leave the link down below in the description box for most of the products that I'm using. So I'm gonna stop saying that. <laughs> but I really do like the color. I've been looking for a color to use for my concealer. I usually use a Pell Pell White, but I thought this honey would be better since my skin has kind of like a warm golden undertone. I can sometimes just switch between the two depending on how I feel. And yeah, so this has really been working out for me recently, so I'm gonna have to buy more of those. 
also i don't really have any advice for your eyebrows but to just like arch them naturally please do not go walking around looking like you have mount everest eyebrows unless that's what you were intending to have <laughs> please like at least try at least try and then if you can't get it right a couple youtube videos I had to like learn how to do my makeup like by myself. I didn't even know that people posted makeup videos because I was always into gaming videos. And well, this is how it worked out, so I'm not that mad. <laughs> but I wish I like knew about like when I first subscribed to Nikki Tutorials. Also, wait, <laughs> these makeup brushes are from AOI Dreams. And I completely recommend them. I'm in this house with Naruto. This is her Gamer Girl palette. And I also love it. I have been using it so much recently. I I love to use and abuse my palettes. I'm sorry. Oh, but like. Well then again I'm not sorry. Because they're being put to use. So I could buy another one. And I am obsessed with the colors that come in here. Honestly I did not expect this baby blue to come out like it did. But like I was saying, when I first subscribed to Nikki Tutorials, I did not expect anything. Like, I was just young and I was like, okay, okay, I see you with your makeup. But, like, that's one of my motivations for makeup. I will never probably get as close to her level, but, you know, you know. I also like to watch um, some of my favorite YouTubers who do their makeup on here the annihilator um Alyssa and Arnell Armin and Ashley I love to watch them uh, you guys should definitely watch them um I have so much more people but when I'm not watching makeup I'm definitely gaming so definitely it does not matter what eyeshadow you use for this part if you're doing my heart eyes y2k eyeshadow <laughs> it definitely does not matter what eyeshadow color you use it pops off and works with every color what matters is what colors you're like wanting to main what you want to try like i like to do separate colors i like to be like oh Let's put light blue here and then darker blue in the middle sometimes. I've been doing this for a while, so. See, as you can see, like, I like the, I like to contrast my colors, pretty much. Um, since my eyes are hooded, I can't, I feel like I haven't learned enough about eyeshadow methods and stuff for other eye shapes since my eyes are hooded and I've only been doing it for my eye shape so I can't really comment on how it would suit your eyes <laughs> but I feel like if I was face to face with someone and had to do their makeup I'd do a good job on it because you know there's a difference between hands on and just like working with eyesight so I have a um, paint palette that I actually got off on Athena's paint palette and I will actually put that in the link in the bio because I've been using it so 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 often for like fake freckles for my Y2K airbrush heart eyes eyeshadows um I actually came up with a new one that I'm going to be posting about recently and hopefully I'll do like a little tutorial on it in um my Instagram reels instead so you guys don't have to um, watch a full YouTube video on it unless you guys want to <laughs> but I feel like my videos are extra extra long because I'm always getting distracted as you can see <laughs> but for the heart eyes you definitely do not have to dab like I do I wanted mine to look a bit messy but also neat so I was just kind of trying to like you know airbrush isn't neat it's like cute and messy when I think of what's okay I think of like messy cute like you're you're hot you're cute but you're a bit messy like everything 
on you is cute, but something's gotta be out of place, you know? And for like an easier way to do this, you could just put the paintbrush down and not dab, just put it down with the paint or whatever you're using and then turn it the other way and put it down with the paint and that's an easier way to make a heart. I think I do it in my um, other video that I'm going to be posting soon so I could give you guys a um, clear way to do it. I do not know what's wrong with me. <laughs> oh my god. Um, why do I say oh my god instead of oh my god? Issues. I tell you issues. Me and my family kind of just joked the whole time I was doing my makeup. Gosh. It was really funny too. At least you guys get like background entertainment. Please, I hope I don't get copyrighted for the background. <laughs> I mean, there's no noise, but you know. Also, it's. I don't know if it's important if you do it with white. I've just been doing mine with white recently, but I'm definitely going to do it with a new color soon and experiment. And I will definitely show you guys like a picture on Instagram because I will be um, posting this video probably sometime two weeks, next week. Depends on when I'm done editing. Um, I've been using white because it's easier to like fill on the inside, but I also want to, I just think this color combo would be cute, so I'm going to try this for you guys. I hope my mic's not picking up like any other background noise, like I burped earlier, and I don't know if it picked it up, but you know, we live in. Sorry the hearts are like the, they took me the longest to do. Definitely. I was trying to see if I could like make them even on each side and that's when I realized that I definitely could not so I just started doing my own thing and that's completely okay like if you don't want to do three hearts and two sparkles or two hearts and three sparkles and whatever you choose to do is definitely what you can do like this is just something I thought would be cute in the heat of the moment like, I was just going to do a regular blue eyeshadow, but then I was like, nah, shorty, you're extra. You live an extra life. Shout out to my sister for leveling me up on Fortnite <laughs> while I'm out here doing my makeup. Um, shout out to my homies that be playing Roblox and Fortnite to me. Y'all are the real ones. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Oh my god, keep me away from the mic actually. I feel like in this video I wasn't as camera shy as I was to like start out like with the beginning of my first videos. Definitely in my more recent video I was so much more comfortable so the one that I will probably upload I think it'll be the next video or the video after this. If it's not the video after this, I'll definitely tell you guys in the um, next video when I'm uploading that video. It's a really nice video and I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's an eyeshadow look that's like this, but um, it's just showing the other way that you can do it, you know? In case you're not more comfortable doing this way, or you're looking for an easier way. And hear me out. Like, sure, it looks nice, but as you guys can see, I've literally messed up so many times on this part. And you do not have to use the blue paint on the inside to fill it in. I just noticed that mine literally matched it perfectly so I decided to use the blue in there like I said I love to contrast so it matched the darker blue on the outer corners so I decided to use that and instead of using a lighter blue eyeshadow which is why I'm definitely showing you guys in the other video how you could use the eyeshadow instead of the paint to fill it in because the um, paint sometimes smears and mixes with the other color and that does not look that well all the time a 
off so don't do not worry about it being perfect because like i said airbrush is never perfect it's very very pretty and very very messy and you know it's unique if you if you like feel like you're not doing it right at the beginning it's definitely okay because every time i do it i feel like i'm always doing it wrong but the outcome is always amazing like you gotta tell yourself to just hold up and trust the process like me doing and i always do my eyeshadow before i do my own um, foundation and everything else so i could just cut it up i know some people like to do like the opposite but this is just what i prefer because i know that i can definitely be messy with my um eyeshadow yeah and as you can see like the blue is just matching my inner blue it's definitely not blending at all besides with the outer corners which i really was going for <laughs> so i'm definitely happy that this came out correctly like i said i be doing things in the heat of the moment i was like oh this is blue eyeshadow already cute and i was like imagine how cute it would be with a heart though and i was like you right you are right let's do this <laughs> Um, so this is how most of the process be happening. Yeah, yeah. I'll be quiet now. whatever comes out on my face. And I only do mini dots because I feel like I cannot control when I like press down and like the whole bunch will come up but you know that preserves makeup for me and that's good. I've had this for only about four months so I'm about to buy another one because this one's already running dry. I also need to um, buy some new things from 
20 anyways. It's about time. <laughs> but I've actually found a new foundation recently that literally fits my skin perfectly. I mean, this one is nice, but like, sometimes it tints orange for me. I'm pale. I'm like warm and golden. I'm pale. I can't choose between one or the other. So I'd have to mix and that's it's an effort, you know. Um also when you're doing your foundation, I definitely recommend that if you don't want it to be cakey that you pat downward. Not pat, not just pat, pat downward because you want your um makeup to be smooth especially if it does get cakey pat downward so you're not like smearing more cake in and to other places and your makeup's just gonna like fall apart and get cracky and stuff and even more cakey just pat downward it'll definitely help um i experienced that once and i just never felt the same again you know but yeah, I also like to um, not fill in the tips of my eyebrow. I like to draw the line in at the bottom and then I tend to go in with my foundation when I'm applying it right at the front part so it looks just a teeny tiny bit more natural because you know, thin brows matter. So I'm going back in with the, con the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Shade 30 Honey. This, this literally has done miracles for me, and I will never go back to being the person that I once was. Um, my contour style is I like to go under my eyes and on my cheeks, but not too far, because I already have high cheekbones. I really have no reason to define my face, but I do it anyway. Um, I definitely, my favorite part of doing my contour is definitely my nose. I think I feel most insecure about my nose. I mean, it's pretty, but like, I just, I feel that way. And definitely, I put the concealer lines right there by my mouth because whenever I smile, I get smile lines or wrinkle lines or face lines or whatever we're calling them on days. And you know, that just kills my whole bad bitch posterior that I have going on. Like, I cannot be caught being bad and having wrinkled smile lines in my face because I smile too hard. Like, no. So, for my nose contour, I like to put a line down the middle and then go in with a dot right on the base of your nose. It looks a little weird at first, yeah. But even though I'm like contouring my nose, I'm going for like my facial structure already. So right where the um right where the bridge is, I tend to just put the lines right where um from the heart on the yeah from right below the eyebrows by the heart straight down to the nose bridge. Like, kind of in a curve, you know? Like, if you're making a basketball hoop. I don't know why I'm comparing it to that, but yeah, to that. And it tends to be just about perfect. Like I said, I like to contour under my eyes mainly because you guys know me, I barely get sleep. I've actually been working on a healthier sleep schedule, but I feel like me and sleep are just like not on agreeable terms. I normally do not actually put that much concealer on my head. So I had no idea what Shorty was doing this day, but that's not what we usually do, but you know, do you do. Alright, and we're 
we're going on with the um hit me leaves powder banana shade banana uh, I always like feel sick <laughs> that I got in my eyes so be careful like make sure you dust it off a little I did dust mine but I also like to like like I said do my lips because of the wrinkle lines um under my eyes because you know you gotta bake you don't want to just put that there and be like dang like oh you're fine like no bake your face bake your face like a man want to bake you you know simple things that make you look sexy like you know i look good already but y'all stay safe though <laughs> why am i never mind we don't be safe though okay and for my contour i literally need to buy a contour stick and i just recently did but i've been using the um paint and it actually it kills it it does the job it gets the job done sis don't judge me it gets the job done look at this y'all aim for the contours like this but it gets the job done and i really really love it i also like to um contour my jaw because you guys your jaws have shapes like come on now they have a shape get real you guys need to do it more because it'll really define your face. Trust me, it look weird, but you guys have seen the photos. You guys have seen the photos. There's nothing else I can say. You guys have seen the photos. And like I said, I like to curve to the inner side of my eyebrows. Here I am talking to you guys like you guys can hear me. And then after I do like the contour and everything, I like to brush it in. I like to do my deep contour last because I feel like sometimes that if I had put too much powder or too much concealer and it's way too light, that I can kind of um, blend it in if I put on um, my shade of you know con my concealer stick if I had one um but in this case it'll be the paint and I like to make it blend because you know and then also you could help it blend with the concealer if you also put that on if you accidentally put too much concealer or setting powder on and you look like a pale monster i'm gonna just you know when i think about that all i could think about <laughs> is on the one tiktok about the guy you guys know what i'm talking about the guy who's singing um about how your makeup is whack <laughs> And I think about that so much often. Like, I'll sing it in my sleep. I'm not going to sing it for you guys. I don't know what you guys thought this was. It's not a podcast. <laughs> but I'll definitely, like, post the video on my story the day that I post this. And I, <laughs> I think about it so much. And he's like, powder attack. Okay, so we're getting near the end. You guys see the face is beat. We're going in with the um lipstick stick, you know, lip liner stick or whatever. And the shade brown or mocha, whatever you want to call it. I will also be linking this, but I love doing brown on my lips ever since I was um young and figured out that, you know, it suited me. I was like, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to actually try red soon. I still don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it looks nice if I'm doing like um, an ombre or, you know, glazed lips. But my lips be pink enough, so I'd be trying not to do red. Because I see that pink, my neutral pink suits me already. So I'd be like, mm, red will look cute on me. But like, 
up to a certain point. Like, I like doing the black to red ombre lips. Ooh, I'm going to hit you guys with one of those soon. <laughs> but I do this. This is how I be lining my lips, like, majority of the time. Look at me already being happy because I know I'm fine. And please look at my nose contour. This is why it's so important to contour your nose. Like, she look like, ooh, skinny clean. <laughs> contour your nose and your cheeks. Like, you you want them cheekbones, sis? If you don't, okay, that's your choice. My bad, my bad, my sorry. I'm not going to push that onto you. My bad, my bad. But look. Look at what it do. What it do, baby boo. <laughs> um, God. God forbid anyone else. Gosh, why am I posting this? Anyways, I also did hearts on my cheeks that day. And I know it looks weird at first, but you can start to see them like slowly blend in. Just small little hearts i want it to be in the shape of blush and i also did um tap red in there around there you can't really see it because it's very faint but it shows up well on like camera up close in selfies and that's what i was aiming for i have no clue why i decided to do hearts but like i said i'm an impulsive makeup person like i was like oh this look cute and now we're going on to lashes. I got this from Hell Beauty Co. These are the Angel Energy Lashes. Um, I will definitely put the link in the bio. I mean, description. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, I got this mirror from Five Below, and it's been helping me so much. So you're going to want to apply your lashes however you usually do where you're comfortable at and with do not forget that lashes can completely make and break or change a look completely entirely on how you place them sometimes i like to place my lashes inward sometimes i like to place them more outward or upward and it's just it really changes your eye shape or has a different appeal or attraction and i just i cannot explain it but i just did in a way you know but yes we're gonna apply the other eyelash because you know you can't be looking good on one side and not on the other like who are we talking to here the police the police no baby look good do good you guys are gonna see that i am like messy like I start one project on my face and don't finish it till later. So right after these eyelashes, we're gonna go back to the lips. Look at me, I already feeling myself. I'm over here telling my, you guys how I'm cuter than you, and you guys can't even hear me. But you know, confidence. So we're going back in with the lips. I'm using a contour shade this time. It's like a lighter brown. I actually got it from Dollar Tree, and I was like, mm, it'll do good for the lips. So, now we're using it for the lips. And then I'm using a, um eyebrow pencil for my mini moles that I like to do. Y'all be seeing it. It be cute. Don't hate. Show love. <laughs> I love to do it. Like, I feel like people used to get mocked for these features really really like badly back then but they're so beautiful like freckles and uh, moles and literally so many other things <sighs> so i also went in with the nyx lip stick and then i'm using my impulse beauty glosses which are so pretty I need to find, I mean, I need to buy more because I am obsessed. I I cannot wait for her new collections to drop because, you know, money is here. I'm here to spend. I'm also definitely thinking about doing a giveaway soon. Um, I might talk about it on my Instagram. But it's definitely happening. 
Anyways, I was realizing now that I was the baddest bitch and you guys should give up. I even put my hair back and I was like, yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. So, this is the end of the video. Sadly, I have to say goodbye to you guys. Just remember that I'm the hottest person ever. You're not. And thank you for watching my YouTube video. And I'll see you guys later. Stay safe. Stay smart. Stay pretty. Stay beautiful. And always continue to work on improving yourself. Bye, loves.